والله يدعو الى دار السلام ويهدي من يشاء الى صراط مستقيم Sister Asia, Kingdom of Saudi Arabia, she also had a, a, a very interesting point, Sheikh, and I did say to her, she's going to see more programs on Huda TV regarding uh, the, the Zionists and regarding the real history of how they came to the Palestine, how they came to occupy this land. Um, the new generation, Sheikh, our children, how important and how do you go about educating them? Because like she said, which is so true, the information coming from the BBC, the CNN, uh, these kind of media sources are very biased and incorrect many of the times. So how do we go about, because these are the major media sources, how do we go about educating them? Our only source and the most sound source is the Qur'an, which is explained by the sound sunnah of the Prophet ﷺ. Men with Israel were mentioned in the Qur'an in more than 50 positions. Almost one third of the Qur'an is talking about them. In details, so when you know your enemy, when you know your friend through Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, the traits as Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala described them in details, then you're fully aware. You don't need to read a book that is authored or written by so and so or such and such because Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala who created us and them, who knows exactly their nature and ours, have gave us the exact details. From the moment they began, from the moment they tried to kill their own brother Yusuf alayhi salam. Because when we say the children of Israel, they're all the children of Jacob alayhi salam. Prophet Jacob, who is a Muslim prophet, his name was also Israel. Which is a, a word that in Arabic means the servant of Allah, similar to Abdullah. Everybody knows that Joseph, Prophet Yusuf alayhi salam, who threw him in the well? Who threw him in the well? His own brother. Yes. His own brothers. Mm -hmm. Him and his younger brother Benjamin were from one mother. And this mother by the way was their aunt, was the aunt of the other ten brothers. So it's, it's a family and within the same family they say, they suggested to one another, ten of them, ten out of the twelve, they said, Can you imagine that they suggested to one another to kill their own brother, their own blood brother? They suggested that. No wonder what they are doing now to the Muslims, and to the members of the UN, and to the ambulances, and to the hospitals, and to the shelters and the schools which are declared by the UN as safe areas, there, there is no deed, there is no faith. This kind of mentality, this barbaric terrorist mentality have to be stopped. The entire world have to be united in order to stop them, restrict them and restrain them, not only Muslims, because this is what they have done to their own brother. Some of them who were soft-hearted, they said, لا تقتلوا, you know what, let's not kill Yusuf. وَأَلْقُوهُ فِي غَيَابَةِ الْجُبْ This is the most merciful one of them. They suggested to, to, to cast him, to throw him in a deserted well, in the darkness, in the extreme cold, so that maybe somebody will pick him up or he will just die there. It begins from there. So if we study the Qur'an thoroughly, if we read the Qur'an, and simply read the meaning of the Qur'an. Every Muslim who knows English, I advise you to have a copy of the abridged tafsir of Ibn Kathir mm -hmm. in your house. If you cannot afford it, you can download it for free. It's free, yes. Software. Yes. You can download it. You can ask us, we'll send it to you for free. Read the Qur'an, study its meaning, in order to know who is the friend and who is the enemy? After all, those who do not believe Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and do not believe His promise are not Muslims. Even if they pray, even if they fast, even if they give in a charity. Because belief is not just the jumping jacks, mm -hmm. the physical motions. It's most importantly what settles in the bottom of the heart and the mind of the believer. So, let's all begin. Let's make this event a turning point. In the life of the entire Ummah, we have to educate ourselves. Not only in math and in physics and in chemistry, we're doing very well in this regard. The most advanced and the most successful physicians in the West, the Fadlillah by the grace of Allah, are Muslims. But when it comes to the deen, a vast majority of them do not know, but very little, that if they know that little. 
So let's go back to the Quran, start studying the Quran and educating ourselves. Okay, now there's a, there's a point here, Sheikh, that uh, many of these people who have not really studied and so forth, they're the ones who are uh, the ones who are speaking for the Muslims at the present, unfortunately. And, and some things they say, and we get these in the emails, people do ask, uh, are really uh, uh, Bani, uh, sorry, Bani Israel, are they really uh, the same people that are here now? Are these the same people? Is this what Allah is telling us? They're the same people? Or are these different people altogether? Because this is what they say. Even these are that question mm-hmm. is also answered in the Quran. Mashallah. I can give you so many answers and call so many verses right now. But... Why don't we do this? Why don't we begin reading the Quran and taking out all the positions in which Bani Israel were mentioned and study them. Then study what the Prophet ﷺ did once he entered al Madinah. The first thing he started with, he reconciled between al aws and Khazraj. Uh, these two Arab tribes who were fighting against each other eternally and who was funding this war. Not funding charity or voluntary but paying weapons, but selling weapons to al aws and selling weapons to al Khazraj as well. Bani Israel, in al Madinah, who is selling weapons to Iran and Iraq at the same time? The same people and the same mentality. Who tried to assassinate the Prophet ﷺ more than once? The same people. They have managed to kill some of their prophets. And Allah saved some of them from them and their treachery. And Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala saved Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. As a result of that, they were kicked out of al Madina al munawwara Well, when we come to study the history, we will learn, why did they come all the way from Palestine, from the Holy Land, to al Madina in the desert? That too has a reason. As I said, there is a lot to speak about. One or two or fifty episodes are not even enough to study. So make it a point. That every day, the Ummah has to learn something new from the book of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. I'm not saying, just focus our studies on Bani Israel. We're not going to prepare a PhD, a degree in Bani Israel. But there is a lot of things that we don't know in our deen. The basics, the basic jameel, most of us do not know in our deen. As I uh, was visiting... Uh, once in the States, uh, last few months, somebody was suggesting that, Sheikh, what do you think of this uh, suggestion? And who's suggesting that to us, the West, to review the Quran and the Sunnah, and to take out the complicated verses, and pick up to filter the Quran and the Sunnah. You know, if this word comes out of the mouth of a Muslim, then immediately he's out of the boundaries of Islam. But he said that in a masjid, in one of the Islamic centers after a lecture. Why? I, I give him the benefit of doubt. Because they don't know. They're innocent. They're ignorant when it comes to the deen. So, just make a new beginning, inshallah. Okay,